Hello, 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 everyone. How are we doing? Come on, Come on in. Oh, let's go. <clears throat> I see you down there, Josh. Hi, Josh. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, is that the Josh Hodges? <laughs> <laughs> I had the same problem with the last words. The <laughs> Josh Hodges. <laughs> Josh Hodges. <you're> going- <laughs> <laughs> is that the Knuckles the Enchilada? Knuckles the Enchilada? Oh, God, I can't with that. <laughs> Man, that will never die, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I'm, oh man, I'm excited for this. Yeah, I got extra water, got snacks with me. I'm gonna make sure my mouth, mouth isn't full so in case someone asks me a question. <laughs> oh man, dude, I'm looking for. I'm for, looking forward to this and finally talk with all you guys for the first time ever. I know, I know. Yeah, we should, should do this often. I know I've talked to Edward and Call before, but this isn't my first time with Jose and Vivian. Hmm. Yay! I'm just shy. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, <laughs> so you are yeah. you are actually a tsunami. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll give it a couple minutes and then we'll kind of turn this kick up things bit. off, get things started. Oh, wait. But hello, everyone. Welcome on in. Hey, right, what MC. up, MC? Hey, MC. Oh, MC. Hey, dude. Hey, MC. What up, bruh? <clears throat> Okay, okay, but uh, Dark Cloud, I was, I was re- realizing, well, you, you, you saying bra, and I hear a kid saying that, that's so weird, you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even doing kid, I was just saying bra. <laughs> bra. No, I, I can hear a kid's voice coming out of your, your tone, and I get like, oh god, a kid saying bra, that's so weird. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. So basically just- uh, kid calls me his bra all the time. Don't even what worry about it. <laughs> I, I learned that from the internet. <laughs> I try to I try to cut down his hours on that thing. I don't think it's very good for him. Yeah. yeah. Also, also yeah. what's up, Pharaoh Sunflower? Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Oh man, I can't, I can't believe it. I'm here with the IEW crew ready to have fun with this. Yeah, man, you're so <laughs> hyper, man. <laughs> I mean, I mean, well, not, I, yeah, I mean, I'm hyped to actually be here with you guys. Well, not really just for being a panelist, but for yeah. talking with you guys. Yeah, of course. I feel yeah. Yeah, because yeah, because what if we ever gonna have a chance to actually like voice chat with each other? <laughs> I've been asking you for this multiple times, Edward. All the time when you asked me, I was either too busy or at or on campus or either just uh, doing other stuff. Ah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> oh man, I just don't do calls often. <laughs> uh, uh, today at, at three o'clock, are we all ready? Yeah, well, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Are. Let's do it. Yeah, go ahead and enter the panel count. All right, so hello everyone. Welcome to the Q and A with Mario Kart Gamer Dude. I am your host today, Doctor Kelp, alongside my wonderful co-host Kevin. Say hi, Kevin. Hello. All right, and we are here with the crew for Mario Kart Gamer Dude's YouTube channel and comic dubs. Uh, do you want to go down the line and introduce yourselves one by one and kind of say what you do? All right. Okay, sure. hi everyone. I am Mario Kart Gamer Dude. I know the name says Edward Sabavia, but I'm actually Mario Kart Gamer Dude. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, I do the Sonic Comic Dodge for like, I don't know, my, like three, four, five years now, I think it, it's been so so long. Uh, but yeah, so I've basically been doing uh, Sonic Comic Dodge for like a very long time, and I'm just so happy to be here. I've been wanting to be on here for like a very long time, so yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, All right so- Dark Cloud. What's up? My name is Dark Cloud, or you can just call me Cloud. I am Kitsunami for Edward here, and I do my own comic dubs and have for <laughs> 13 years of my life. So, yeah, <laughs> that's what I do. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm awesome. with intros. <laughs> uh, a feral sunflower. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vivian, or a feral sunflower, and with Mario Kart Gamer Dude, I voice Surge the Tenric, and uh, I like to do my own professional voice acting, but a lot of people have kind of like latched onto that voice too, so you might see me as Surge in other uh, dubs and such as well. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, Jose. 
All right. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jose. I am the Egg Pilot, and it's a pleasure to actually be here while you guys. I actually do Cuba, in case you haven't noticed. I did, you know, Cuba, because, you know, he's a funny little goofball. And I'm also an editor for, like, uh, Mario Kart Gamer Dudes Comic Dubs. I did the Omega and uh, Gamble Comic Dub, um, where I did the editing. And I also did the editing for the IEW Sonic Comic Dub Thunderstorm, which you should totally watch it. It's fantastically amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Well, that is our stacked cast of guests. Uh, so we're just going to kick things right off with just some just some uh, questions. Uh, Kevin, you want to ask the first question? Yeah. Uh, how did you all get started uh, making the content that, that you now make? Um, okay, so that's like an easy question. So um, once the uh, plot of the imposter syndrome and comments came around, I was like very into it. And then once the issue came out, I'm like, wow, this is like very good. Like, should I like dub it maybe? And I'm like, okay, Lenny, let's do a comment dub, yada yada. Then when I uh, cast it out, um, a, um, a Vivian and a Dark Cloud uh, auditioned for it. And then when I got, and of course, my Sorty 40 got for a star line. So, love him. <laughs> once, once we uh, got that out there, people were like really liking it. And I mean, really, and I mean, really liking it. So then I was like, should I keep going? And why not? So they were still on for it. And we kept going and going and going. Then I'm like, this is building up to the big issue 50. Why not dub that too? So I then asked some uh, voices uh, like, you know, uh, Jet and Isabel to voice Sonic and Tails. And then I asked uh, Corey to voice Eggman. They agreed. And issue 50 came around. And now people are like, can we get more? I'm like, okay, you got all, all for it. And here we are now. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, and one one quick thing I want to add. Unfortunately, Sword T could not make it today. Uh, we we originally had him scheduled to be on the panel, but unfortunately, something came up and he was unable to make it. But he sends you all his best regards. Trust mm -hmm. me, he's a very good man, and bless his heart, he's a good soul. We love you, Sword T. Whatever you are, bro. Yep. Oh yeah. Thank you. Shout out to him. Anyway, uh, Dark Cloud, you want to go into how how you, how you kind of got your start? For Mark, for uh, Edward, or for, like in general, uh, for, for Edward, for for yourself, it doesn't. It, it's like questions kind of wide open for everyone to kind of say how they got their start. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so voice act, like I started voice acting because of Team Four Star. Actually, <laughs> like I wanted to start my own a bridge series for a while, and I was like, huh, okay, why not? That was like way back in 2011 when abridging was like very popular. And then, uh, how did I get into your comic dubs, Edward? I, I auditioned, right? Yeah, yeah, you auditioned for my for Kit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I auditioned for Kit. I got Kit, and yeah, it's been a good time. Sorry, my memory is terrible. <laughs> but yeah, don't worry. All all of our memories are dog dookie. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, that's that's about it. <laughs> All right. Uh, should I go? Go ahead. Yeah, go for it. All right. All right. Sweet. OK, so for my end, um, I want to attach again to YouTube videos because, you know, I've been a sucker for like video game reviews and editing and whatnot. I'm just like, you know, I want to do this stuff, too. But I also want to be like, you know, fast paced, energetic and Okay, it's some stuff that I might regret saying here on this panel, and I'm not going to say it here because I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I want to do like more of this stuff like for videos and entertain the audience. And then when I came across like everyone on Twitter, um, you know, he, he actually, uh, he, we were actually pretty cool. He actually liked my edits and everything else. And I decided, hey, what if I had to do like some edits for, for your comic dubs and whatnot? So we were getting pretty cool. Then eventually he asked if I can become the voice of, you know, Killbot, you know, doing that cute little robot voice for your old, your old egghead. And I decided, yeah, why not? It would be pretty fun. And then why not? Here I am here with my friends, my allies, my homies, my cohorts. And now here we are just being together. with this one big happy family. <laughs> right. can, would you like to go next, uh, Sean Blower? Uh Yeah, sure. Um... So, like, back when uh, Imposter Syndrome dropped, I, I saw Serge's design and just her whole attitude, and I was like, there's no way she doesn't sound like a horrible, like, 
growly little gremlin that just wants to kill everything. And I was like, oh, I just, I really got it. I got to dub those panels, even if it's just for me just to post something on my own. And then I saw uh, Mario Kart Gamers uh, freaking uh, like casting call drop. And I was like, oh, I already got some clips to send him. I'm just going to send him these videos I already made. And he was like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, I, I so like what helped me like, realize her voice for her was first I was like looking at her I was like okay she definitely sounds terrible look at her she's like look at those fangs she's she's got to sound like really ugh. and then other people were posting like yeah this is my headcanon voice for her blah 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 and I was like okay what if I take that voice and just turn it up a bit to where she sounds completely like impalatable she just sounds awful <laughs> so carnivorous <laughs> she's just really feral yeah, I think that's what a lot of us uh, felt when we when we saw um, her in a comic and having that voice. It just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh. Awesome, awesome. Right. <laughs> so I believe that uh, I believe that covered everyone, right? Didn't it? Yeah. Yep. All right. Really? I will go ahead and ask the next question. So my question is um, to Edward. Um, so. What has kind of been something you've learned throughout the process of making these dubs? And as you go forward, uh, how do you in- intend to improve their quality and keep going forward to make changes based on how everything goes? Well, basically, when I first did the first one in Project Syndrome Part 1, the first issue, uh, the editing on there wasn't like as great as some of the ones that are going on right now, because I got better over the years. Um, so once I started doing these comic dubs, like they, I realized like how good they needed to be like better because a lot of, I, I do get co- some comments saying how, um, this should be like that. Some editing should be better like this. And, and unfortunately I do also get, um, comparisons to adrenaline dubs like a lot. So oh, I yeah. tried to, I tried right. to make sure, make sure I don't, uh, um, um, well, I ignore it obviously, but. I do t- and try to like improve as much as I can with the comment dubs, and I'm, I don't know like how long I'm going to keep doing the comment dubs. Also, I don't know like how long like I'm obviously I'm like super biased when it comes to Surgeon Kid. Like whenever they, like when sixty seven dropped, I'm like it's way too early to dub this, but I love them so much <laughs> that I just had to go uh, and go ahead and dub them. But <laughs> yeah, to, an- to answer their question about improving, um, basically, uh, basically I think. When it comes to improving, I just had to like when I look at the comic dubs and when I edit them, I just like see how better they can be. Whenever I'm going through it, I make sure they make sense. The sounds make sense. The um, uh, voices make sense. The editing in there. So yeah, awesome. Mm-hmm. And look how far we come over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. Mm-hmm. Still going strong even to this day. No regrets. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so kind of extending that question to the rest of you, how would you say that uh, throughout the throughout the different dubs, you guys have kind of improved in each of your roles that you that you play in this channel? Hmm. Well, I would say that when it comes to improving our roles, I do think we do try at least improve in some areas. Sure, there's the occasional auto quality, which is absolutely irritating. But no matter what it takes, we do try to work on our um, roles. Like, for example, me trying to voice Q, but I want to make sure the audio is authentic when it comes to how I work things properly and how I try to make sure that my vocal cords are on range. But I give it my all, and hopefully it's up to Edward's quality. If not, well, I, I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> See, as for voicing Kit, I've been I've gotten a lot of feedback on it. Like I did, well, I did in my early days, where he didn't really sound like I forget what they said. He didn't sound like he was timid enough. I guess mm-hmm. so. I've been like taking the feedback like that. And been like trying to improve ever since. And yeah, I, it's it, it's gotten a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yep, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> but awesome. yeah, now he just sounds a lot more timid, and you know all that good stuff. <laughs> I'm terrible with words. But, yeah, <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, Vivian, what about you? Uh, just the general, like, growing and changing and, like, learning more about acting, like, in general helps to improve the performance each time. But so it is also, like, watching the character arc progress because she becomes less, uh, like oh, I'm going to kill everything and I'm the best and blah, blah, blah. She becomes less of that and more like, I need to kill you. You need to die. Like she becomes more desperate and like enraged. And now she's more calculating because now she's going through the whole arc of, oh, I'm going to infiltrate them now rather than just, I'm going to blind brute force my way, just kill you instantly. Now it's like a more methodical thing. So I think it's really fun to have gone from her original <laughs> standpoint of just being like yeah i don't care i can just do whatever to now like she has to she went from that to the whole her lowest (laughs) point of i she's almost dead like she almost killed herself (laughs) trying to kill sonic to (laughs) well now i'm just gonna be all buddy buddy with you and you're gonna have to be okay with it because well everyone can change right so that's just kind of like i really love Mm. that like (laughs) But yeah, definitely just good how old, long it's good old been. Clutch moving things into motion. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can't wait. Yeah. Absolutely. And just how long it's been. I've also just improved as an actor, too. So it's just, it sounds better now than it did then. <laughs> Absolutely. And I I will say that since, you know, I, I do voice clutch for uh, Mario Kart Gamer Dudes uh, channel. So I just recently got added to that cast. So that's a lot of fun. So if, seeing the the teaser that you posted of all the of all the different parts of the of the dub so far with uh, with the tease that showed like the snippets of rough tumble uh clutch and then surge and kit was so cool just to see it all Thank come you. together hmm. you did do a yep. good job man <laughs> <laughs> well thank you or all, right. like, all you guys together like i cannot wait to see like all of you in like one screen again against the heroes that will be the biggest showdown oh, yeah ever. this is a dub i'm i'm very much looking forward to when it <laughs> goes up to the ultimate point oh yeah, absolutely. Can, can, cannot wait to see search and kids in my writer's outfits cannot wait oh boy yeah i was wondering absolutely. if they were gonna do that <laughs> oh, where's that sure. with that <laughs> So with that, we'll uh, we'll kind of turn it on over to the audience. So audience, feel free to put your hands up and start. And uh, if you've got questions for uh, for Edward, Vivian, Dark Cloud, or Jose, just feel free to raise those hands and get those questions in. We'll just start right away with uh, audience questions. Thank you. What time is you need? We're in no rush. Maybe because we're kind of in on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> All right, going once. Going twice. Yeah, we got a oh, hand raised. Uh, I, will, call them make a, I will make a quick note. Uh, earlier, they did say that it is okay to ask them uh, to say something in their character voices. So if you want to hear something from their character voices, you are also free to ask that. Mm-hmm. Which usually we don't do, but they, they okayed it. So this is your chance. <laughs> You're welcome, viewers. <laughs> All right, I see some hands raised. So, uh, Kevin, you want to call on the first person? Yeah, sure. Uh, I, I believe it was Dino that had their hand up first. All right, come on up, Dino. Hello, everyone. What Hello. up? What's up? Hi. Been oh. doing good and all that. Great seeing everyone here. Oh, good. How you doing, Dino? Yeah, I've been doing <laughs> good at the usual here. You know, just aid and all that. And now here in this panel. Mm-hmm. All right, congrats. You got your question answered. Now you can leave. No, I'm kidding. I'm joking. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. Sorry. Yes. Go ahead. All right. All right. So, um, okay. So, um, I actually have a question for everyone here. Um, considering that obviously you, um, well, it's actually more so uh, for, um, for Vivian here, but obviously for everyone here. Um, so whenever you are voicing your characters, um, in the comic dubs and all that stuff, do you, um, let's say, like, do you guys do, like, improv or, like, uh, or, like, uh, preparations for the voices in preparation for, like, the dubs or anything like that in particular? Okay, I love this question. Because, <laughs> actually, I do, every time I, I want to, like, reset the voice or get back into it, I'll always do, like, I think it was one of her first lines, I'll go, cheap shot for a cheap butt! Or I'll just do the first couple words, and that'll co- that'll kind of help put me back on track for doing the voice. <laughs> I, I always I, feel silly doing it, but <laughs> it gets me there, so. <laughs> I actually kind of do the same thing. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> I usually say the line, um, what is it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to charge my pack. <laughs> yeah, I wide. love that. <laughs> yeah. That's the one that most people want me to quote usually too, so it's like, okay. <laughs> Ooh. I love that it's like so opposite to with the characters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, totally. Oh, I, I would I would say the exact same thing because you know I try at least improv myself. I mean, usually when I try to record, I always just try just get the lines done. If not, and if I mess up, I just delete it because I'm a dumb perfectionist, even though I'm not. <laughs> but in all seriousness, um, like for example, when I try to do cue bond. I try to say. I know, I know 16 ways to break a man's neck. <laughs> when I first did that line, Jesus. I yeah, exactly like that one. But the first time when I did it, I stupidly said, I know I know many ways to break a man's neck. And I left that hanging for Edward for weeks on end when I was on vacation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he said that and I realized like, um, that's the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm at, I have blind, so you have to excuse my stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, but at least I finally give it back to you. So at least that's that's there for the sake of you know giving you quality. <laughs> <laughs> there well, you go. Yeah, we're, um, well, I, I don't voice anyone in the comments yet. If it, if if it, if, it, if it comes up, then yes. But um, I when it comes to like voicing anyone, um, like for instance, a lot of people love my Iggy Koopa voice. So oh yes, whenever I do do that, I try to get into character with him. I think crazy a little bit. But I also always make sure to have water with me because, uh, believe it or not, it is very, very um, uh, hard to maintain that voice for a long time. But it's really grating on your throat. After doing that, I cannot do it for more than like a couple minutes or so without taking a water break. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> you know what Absolutely. they say? Stay hydrated, ladies and gentlemen. Hydration is really important when it comes to I used to, to give myself acting. headaches from some of the this. screaming sessions. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that. You said <laughs> that big um, uh, issue 54, you said a big headache. I felt so guilty. Oh, no, no, oh, no. I, I, if I don't want it, I'm not going to do it. But I, I I, wanted to get it right. Like, I wanted to do those screams. I wanted to do it the way. So yeah. I'm like, I'll deal with, this, I'll deal with the consequences. <laughs> that actually reminds me of, like, when I had to... There was one part where Kit literally screams, I hate him. I had oh, to yeah. redo that so I had to redo that so many freaking times that my throat hurt so bad after. <laughs> I drank so oh. much dang water. <laughs> People really love that. I saw a comment saying they love your your uh, your your take on that. So good good job on that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we don't have to blame you. We just blame the writers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Does that answer your question, Dino? Yeah, that answers perfectly. Awesome. Thanks for asking, dude. No, no problem. Thanks, Talk bro. to you guys later. Have fun. All right, you take care, bro. <laughs> All righty, Kelp. Do you want to call up the next person? Sure do. I will go ahead and call on MC. Hey. hey. Oh, sweet. Up, Let's go. Hey. hey, MC. What up? Hey. Hey. Uh, how you doing, dude? Hey, doing well. So my right. question is really targeted toward Edward. Hmm? Obviously, you're doing dubs of other people's work, like the IDW stuff. But I've also seen you've been doing in original projects like the Mario and Sonic, and the Olympic stuff. Yeah. When do you when do you find you like prefer more the doing doing like IDW stuff or doing your original stuff? Um. Honestly, I love doing both. Um, I know a lot of my audience really loves the IDW does because whenever I post things about IDW, either the dub or like a discussion or review of the comic, pe- the views are skyrocket like incredibly. <laughs> but um, I love doing original projects because you know it's my own thing. I don't want to worry about anything like I don't know like copyright or whatever. But I, 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 I those would prefer. I mean, I love the IDW comments now with everything that's been do- going on so far. Based. Um, but I do love the uh, what's the word? The original co- uh, products that I do. I do um, Fusion Mayhem. Uh, you're in that MC, and then yep. um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, Mario and the Girls, and then the uh, um, there's some. There are a lot of other ones. I got way too much process in my head. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> it's like fifty fifty, honestly, because I love doing both. But obviously, my audience loves the IDW one, so I do. I try doing that a lot more frequently. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, great answer. Yeah, thank mm-hmm. you. And as some of you may know, I also did a dub of IDW issue 50. And I was like, should I also do imposter syndrome and all the other stuff that followed? And I was like, nah, I'll let Edward keep this. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell, man. I see your work. Uh, I, I, I saw, saw your, your version of, of the issue 51, my dude. It was very good. You did Thanks. good, man. Mm-hmm. <sighs> awesome. Well, thank you for the question, MC. My pleasure. See you all around. Later, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Kevin, you want to go ahead and uh, get the next person up here? Yeah, uh, Rainboom has their hand up next. I'll call Rainboom up. Rainboom. All right, what Rainboom. Up, Rainboom. Hey, what the hell are you all doing? Hey, Rainboom. Hey. 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 <laughs> so, uh, I do have a question for Edward. Um, um, <laughs> words. Um, <clears throat> Take your time, no rush. All right. So from from what I mentioned a, qu- a question to Edward, um, do you have any favorite the de- uh, words? Curses. Okay. I, I do the same yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, from what I've been trying to ask a question to Edward, um, uh, do you have any particular favorite comment does that you or or your own projects that you've been done so far? Um. Okay, so my favorite one. Um, for me, I have like a very like personal thing when it comes to the IDW issue fifty is really like the big one because it was building up to that all the you know, issues I've been doing so far. Um, so that's like my favorite one when it comes to that, um, and especially since you know like it keeps blowing up like a lot. I'm pretty sure it's like the thirteenth most viewed video we have so far in in my, in my videos, and then so. I have a personal connection with, with that one. And then, so for the original projects, aside from the IDW, um, I guess the um, Mario Sequestral Girls one, because that's the one where a lot of people, like, like before I started doing comic dubs, like, that was, like, the thing that kind of really, like, picked and skyrocketed my channel and really showed that people love my, love them on me getting, doing comic dubs. Um, yeah, so that thing, that's, like, my, I'm a, favorite um uh other project aside from idw that i've done mm-hmm. well that's that's really awesome <laughs> thank you <laughs> well i guess that pretty much answering my question um hope you all hello one wonderful day everyone no problem mm-hmm. you too, right? all right have a nice, you take have, care, everyone you have take- a nice day rain boom okay she left <laughs> never mind i'm hurt <laughs> Oh, okay. thank you for that question there, Rainbow. <clears throat> Give me, I tell, would you like to call up the next person? Yeah, uh, Radar has a text question. Says, I'm stuck to text questions since I'm busy today, but here's my first for the group today. Since you guys do dubs of the Funny Hedgehog comic, let's do a Funny Hedgehog question. Favorite bad Nick? Go. Ooh, oh, okay. Oh, That's a good okay. one. Oh, God, okay. I have one. I want to um, go... <laughs> <laughs> me? Okay, oh, as, you guys. As someone for everyone, who I think. Loved YouTube poops growing up. Oh. <laughs> I love scratching yes. powder. Yes. <laughs> scratch funnily powder. enough, That's funnily final enough, I was, I was gonna say grounder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll take scratch then. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, favorite bad Nick. Ah, uh, dang. Um. Uh. Do. You, um, uh, what's, um, do you, uh, what's his name? Uh, does Bokun count? I would say so. Didn't, uh, Sonic S, does he count? Didn't uh, Eggman I would, I would make Bokun, I think? Yeah, Bokun, does he count? I mean, he is an Eggman robot. I, I mean, I mean that, is, that is true, technically He is speaking. an Eggman robot. Um, uh, not necessarily okay. a bad Nick, but, I, you know what, I'll allow it because it's an Eggman creation, so why not? <laughs> yeah. Actually, if I wasn't a robot anyway. <laughs> All right, for me, I'm going with the E2000. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure you guys know what the, the, what that bad Nick is. Basically, you guys know in Sonic Heroes, you know where you reach Eggman's Egg Fleet in the Final Fortress, and you see that this flying mech shoots a massive boosh laser right at your face. The teammates, I think, think so. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's, that. yeah, it's an underappreciated bad Nick. It was also even shown in the IEW comics in one of the covers. Uh, but basically, it's like a soldier-like enemy. We actually reach up to the uh, to the uh, the egg fleet, and you have to fight this robot that's in the way. He has like a shield, and he shoots a massive laser. 
that's my favorite band, Nick. Oh, wait a minute. Is it the yeah, one that's, that's got, like, the red, the red and the yellow? Yes, that's the one. The E2000. Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That one is pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. That, that band needs to return in future Sonic games. I want to see it return. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that question, Radar. As usual, a very lore-intensive question. <laughs> as expected from the lore man himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Kevin, you want to call on the next person? I, I'm, I, think, I think it was your, your turn, Kelp, or what, what did my turn? Oh, I, just, I just called uh, Radar. Oh, oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. I, I heard it as I, I'll call on the next person. Oh, but yeah, uh, Captain Nier has their hand up next. It's Cypher Nier, but okay. Oh, Cypher Nier. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're a grammar, Kevin. <laughs> hey. Hello. 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 Hey. Good afternoon. This is a question for like all of y'all, but like, which characters would you be like interested in, like, ser- to, like interested in, in seeing like Surgeon Kit interact with? Um. Well. Um. Uh, um. Right now, like. Um. Uh, right now, in the c- upcoming art, the Babylon Rose are going to be there, where my um, uh, Surge and Kid are going to be competing in the upcoming Riot arc. And I've always wanted to see how Surge and Jed would interact. So those two, one hundred percent, I want to see them interact. I cannot wait to see them butt heads. I'm trying to think of some people right now, but I can't think of top of my head because I'm a fool. <laughs> All right. For me, I'm definite- yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. So, no. Go ahead, Viv. Sorry no, about you, that. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. For me, probably Silver. (laughs) If I'm going to be honest. For me, definitely more Amy. I want to know where that's going. Uh, Rouge would be cool. And then for some reason today, it struck me like, what about Knuckles? Like, (laughs) I I have no idea like how that would go. (laughs) Does he even Uh, know that they exist? (laughs) I don't know. (laughs) No, I don't think, I don't think he does. No, he's been on Angel Island. He doesn't. Okay, I think I'm really, I got finally got a character in my head, and it feels it's it because of fan art. Thank you, fan art. Uh, I would see Shadow interact with Surgeon Kid at least oh, once. Yeah, oh, yeah, right, yeah. that's the a good one. Kind of, how about that? Yeah, yes, because the ultimate life form wants to interact with these both with these idiotic fools. <laughs> they're, they're both a bit edgy, so kind of want to oh, see yeah, who out edge the imagine. other. Who can oh, out edge yeah. the other? <laughs> Shadow Absolutely. honestly probably won't even give her the time of day. She's probably like. Who are you? And then let's leave. Fight me! Please! No. Who even are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be funny if, yeah, uh, it'd be funny funny if Surge said something like, you're not even good enough to be my fake, and then Shadow's like, that's Try my line. Like <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> like, how dare you take my line? Copyright infringement! <laughs> he just hits her with the lawsuit. The, that's how he wins. Literally. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Hi, Phoenix Wright. Well, thank you for the question, Cypher Oh, you're welcome. I, I like I like y'all work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank really you. appreciate it, dude. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Would you like to call on the next person there? Yes, indeed, I would. Let's call on uh, Ryan the Tenric. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hello. Hi. Hello. Good afternoon, Ryan. Uh, I'm really shy. To this. Oh, okay. Okay. It's okay, me too. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> it's for all of you all. Mm-hmm. Of course. <laughs> have you voice impressions really well. I'm curious. It could be saw characters to start. Like any other voice characters we can do an impression on? Yes. I can think of a few things in my head. <laughs> For me, uh, my range is very limited, so I don't think I can do like any of the Sonic Sonic cast. Um, I know people say like my my high pitched voice can be like maybe like Jet, maybe like talk like this, maybe like Jet, like oh, what's the iconic line that Jet says? Um, what does he say, man? I, take I, a lot man, of practice. I'm, There's uh, one where he talks about like he may be on the fa- he may be the fastest thing on the ground, but in the air with my extreme <laughs> gear, he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. Right. Okay. Like. Okay. Like. Okay. So maybe I can try something like. Uh. Hmm. Like. He may be the fastest on the ground, but in the air with my stream gear, he's just a joke. I could probably th- try that, maybe. But again, my range is very limited. Mm-hmm. That's All a good. good. Do it. Yeah. yeah. For me, I would do my Tenric self so far. It's basically the preteen to the teenager voice. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Cool. Uh, Last reference of uh, Ison from Shuriken School and Baron from uh, Bakugan. Vivian, what about uh, you? Snoop Oh, sorry. Uh, 
Actually, I, I voiced Xena for someone recently that it hasn't oh. come out yet, but I, I did that. <clears throat> I, oh, I can also cool. do like a sultry voice, so I could probably do Rouge if I like tried or wanted to, but I don't know if it'd be exact. And there's so many different like Rouge voices. My favorite personally was like the Sonic X one personally. But uh, oh, yeah. yes, the best that one. one. That one is top. That what that one is top tier peak. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <fat>. yeah. <laughs> so and I might be able to do Blaze a little bit, but I'd have to I'd have to really practice like to try to get that to sound right. But I did that one once for like a personal little dub of someone's drawing of Blaze and Surge. So mm-hmm. nice. I think the Xena mm-hmm. one's pretty good. That one that will that'll come out soon. Practice. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Let's see. Absolutely. Uh, as for me, I'm trying to get the hang of that Titanic uh, self impression. <laughs> Jose, enough. what about you? Where me? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. As for me, I can do a number of impressions. Of course, you saw my my shell, the hedgehog voice. But I can also do like Vector because every time he's got find the computer room, <laughs> that's how he's got to <laughs> do it. And, and of course, uh, I'm not sure if I can do this. I can do like a slight bit of Eggman because you know he's always trying to. I'm gonna try and destroy that hedgehog. Woo! <laughs> and and I can just also. Sorry, I could just do a little bit, like, slight bit of infinite when it comes to, you know, oh, what is that I smell? You may call me infinite. And then blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and also, and I, what else I also put into the mix? Um, I'll just do a, like, Methodist, like, say, <laughs> Oh, uh, I thank you, Shadow the Hedgehog. You may I Mephilus. Mephilus the Dark. What? Did you forget me? But it's still a bit of a work in progress. I, I tried to run a shot to Hedgehog 1 by going, you're too slow, but it's terrible, and I don't want to repeat that. <laughs> I think you could get there, actually. Yeah, I I know, know. <laughs> Practice makes perfect, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what about you, Dark Cloud? Did you say something? Oh. Uh, I'm going to be real. I have an entire list. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're going to be here for hours. <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, well, I did a Sonic, uh, like a Sonic character reel earlier this year, and it had, had like t- 20 something characters on it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Even Wait, are, you doing, are you talking about that one where you were able to do a Rouge voice? Yes. Oh, that's what <laughs> can I get a little can... <laughs> Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm Rouge the Bat, but you can call me Rouge. There you go. Oh, wait, I love it. <laughs> but I can do Sonic, Shadow, Silver, Vector, Big, Storm, Jet, kind of, Knuckles, SBO, Dr. Starline. I tried to do a clutch, but it wasn't that great. Mm. All right. Uh, tried Mimic. It was okay. Tried Antoine. <laughs> That one is still a work in progress. But yeah. Practice. Yeah, right. definitely. I think the best one I, one I can do, though, is Sonic the Hedgehog! Let's go! That's about... And, and Kid Tsunami. Oh, yeah. so go yeah. flex on my face, why don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've had, like... 12 years worth of practice on that voice. <laughs> I didn't mean to flex on you, my no, bad. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just playing around. <laughs> you know I am. <laughs> right. Well, thank you for that question, Ryan, and thank you for answering that, you guys. No problem. We do what we can. All right, Kevin, it's up to you. You're the next person to call up. Yeah, uh, good, real quick, uh, Vivian, is Surge's voice really hard to do for, for you? I, I'm, um, I'm very curious. Actually, no, it's it's pretty <laughs> um, it used to be a little bit of a strain on my like throat at the beginning, but I've gotten so used to it that I it's <laughs> and it, it gets commonly requested even for like other people's like OCs and projects and stuff. So like I've gotten super used to it. <laughs> but at the, right. at the beginning, I would scream myself raw until I had headaches. So <laughs> there is oh, that. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> we're, we're good now, though. We're good. Yep. <laughs> Practice vocal health, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. All righty. Uh, Drowsiest Rocket has your hand up next. Uh, call him up. All right, Drowsiest. Drowsiest Rocket? My name's not Drowsiest Rocket. It's Scrook. 
Wait, what? <laughs> hey, okay. dude. Good to see you. Hey, oh, it's good to see you guys. How you guys been? Good, good. Oh, good to see you. Oh, I'm doing good. Is that your only question? <laughs> uh, uh, yes, that's the question. Uh, everyone, I'm out. Okay, see ya. Bye. No, bye. <laughs> 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 All right. Real, though, uh, before I ask, um, is it fine if I can do like more than um, one person? Sure, I guess. I'm going to ask a question to everyone. Oh, okay. Um, to yeah. each one of you, um, for those that have never answered this, um, how did you guys get into the voice acting industry? What made oh. you uh, want to become one? Hmm. Oh, okay. Um, I guess I'll start. So, this, this keep it like a uh, short. Um, um, I got actually got started into voice acting because of well, ba- basically, um, uh, once I started seeing the Sonic cast like do stuff like in okay, so this is gonna be funny, but when I heard um, uh, how much um, uh, energy the characters were bringing in the uh, recent um, uh, Olympics Games title of uh, Tokyo 2020, Tokyo 2020, um, I heard how fun, how great and lively they were. Like, man, it sounds like they're having a blast. Then, <laughs> um, once, I, once, I'm like, I'm, should I try that? I mean, I never really broadcasted Ooh. my voice that much on to my YouTube channel. That was like way before I even started like speaking on YouTube. Before I didn't speak at all on YouTube. Just using test boxes. So then I'm like, wow, maybe I should try that. And then um, I don't know if you guys know, know this my mobile game, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. Do you know that one? Yes. Yes. Uh, I've heard I'm about a, it. Yeah. I am so, a big player of I'm Fire Emblem uh, Heroes. So I, 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 play, I play that game like since the beginning it came out. And whenever I, I see the, the voice class scene like, and see them doing like, man, I'm under like, imagine if I am like, got it there and like, can I try it? And then I always hear my family say that my voice can be like broadcasted into anything. Like they can hear you on there. Why not? You can do like funny. They're like, should I try? So I'm like, okay. So then I got my first microphone. I asked to buy it. Well, I, I'm a, I buy my own. I'm a, a blue Yeti. That was when I first used it. Back then I didn't know anything about booths or proper quality thing. I used to, <laughs> I usually, um, I recorded just in the open area of my basement, just open air on no nine in my closet or anything. But over time, I got better, and now I actually have a booth, a better mic, and now I'm just doing voiceover as much as I can. Like, I'm not obviously like in anything big yet. I'm not in any like major video game or anything like that, but I was getting by as best, best, best as I can. Oh, w- real quick, if you want to be a voice actor, people, if you're li- listening, um, make sure you also save a lot because it can get a little pricey, especially when I take like classes and stuff. Just letting you know oh, right yeah. now. But yep. One mm-hmm. major, one other major advice: just make sure you keep at it. Do not um let anything drown you or make you like be disappointed or anything. Because I was like that like in the beginning years when I was a voice actor, and it drained me. But now I don't let it get to me at all. I forget, then I forget. I know it may be hard, but then I forget. Keep going and. Don't let a, in, in, but people posting their vo- their victories on social media um, get to you mm-hmm. because they're posting their winnings, but they're not posting their losses. Do not let it get to you. If it does, just take a break. That's all I, I, I recommend. That's some good advice. <laughs> I'm always speaking <laughs> facts. Yeah, Straight up. What about you two? Um, I, th- I think I briefly went over it when this first started, but I didn't go like into too deep a detail. But like, mm-hmm. Back in 2011, I was really into like Yu Gi Oh! and Dragon Ball Z abridged. We and... <laughs> go ahead, <laughs> <laughs> and that made me wonder, huh? Wonder if I could do that, mind you. Like, I'd never even thought about doing any kind of acting before that. So, <laughs> my first microphone was an MP3 player. <laughs> <laughs> Oh hell yeah! <laughs> yes, uh, and um, really? oh Bumble yes, Mia. yes, it was. <laughs> and at the time, I was living in my uh, my parents' basement, and <laughs> it was so friggin' echoey. The first yeah. thing I recorded was a really, really bad Shadow the Hedgehog impression. In an equi basement with an MP3 player microphone. <laughs> oh, oh, oh and, my heart. and uh, after that, I w- went up to a Guitar Hero microphone. 
<laughs> okay, but that is like absolutely the way to do it, though, is like start with something really cheap so that you can get a feel for the craft and know whether or not you're like comfortable and whether or not you like truly love it. So you don't like invest too much and realize, oh, I, I, I don't actually really want to do this. So, like, oh, yeah, I think, no. <laughs> so like, thumbs up for like being innovative with the <laughs> MP3 player and a Guitar Hero <laughs> mic. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like, some people are like, I started out with a Blue Yeti. Oh, I started out with this. I, I'm an, I got a number three player. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because I literally just got a Blue Yeti on Christmas. <laughs> wow, hey, let's go. That's a great place to start. You better keep up with that. Like, it definitely yeah, honestly, is. It's yes. so fun. Oh, yeah. I can confirm mm-hmm. that when I was messing around, like practicing like um, voices or silly voices or just random voices, like even a monotone voice, like moist critical, for example. <laughs> and, <Dawson. laughs> yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it works perfectly fine. Perfect. Awesome. Um, as for me, um, how I get into voice acting, I wouldn't say I'm more voice actor. I would say I'm voice impressionist because you see what I did. <laughs> but basically, yeah. for what I, but for what I did in my end, how I become a voice actor in some way, quote unquote, um, what happened was that during the time when I found out about Discord, I was going around like some Sonic servers, mainly the Team 182 server. Not sure if you guys know about that, but basically, um, I was in the voice chats doing my Shadow the Hedgehog voice impressions and saying hello there i'm shao the hedgehog what's your name and and i was just doing there just trying to talk to people and everything else and then eventually i came across like a person who liked my shadow voice impression that they wanted me to play shadow in their voice in their youtube channel because this in mind i didn't have a vo- youtube channel at the point so at the time so i was just you know using my name at some point <laughs> and eventually I came across learning about new friends doing my shout out voice impressions to a point where I became more and more integrated, um, acquainted with new people to the point where I had to update my mic because my built in microphone is absolute dookie. And eventually I came across a Vivitar uh, USB microphone because those are all the rage nowadays because um, I don't have a Blue Yeti. And eventually I used it and it was very good in quality to the point where I began doing a lot of voice impressions, doing for everybody else and just say a lot of random stuff that comes into my head or wherever they want in their, in their mind. And I just do it. And here I am now. Ooh, that's an interesting fact. But the interesting reply, though, Doom's reaction. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, I got to see this. <laughs> you got called a liar. <laughs> oh, Really? You want this outside? You want this outside, Doom? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> uh, well, it's good to um, hear all these voice acting facts, even when you're called a liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll see. Dang. All right. Well, it's good to um, uh, hear you guys' um, history of voice acting. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Really appreciate no it. problem. Yeah, all right. You. Have a good day, um, Crash Team Racing Gamer, dude. In an alternate universe, that is your name. <laughs> <laughs> All righty, Kalp, uh, you want to call up uh, Prankster? <laughs> she yeah. has her yeah, I do. Come on up, Prankster. All right, we're going to get pranked tonight, boys. <laughs> oh, no. Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. 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 Good evening. Good evening. (laughs) Well, you may or may not be pranked. I just uh, don't know how I'm feeling today. Oh, so (laughs) I'm going to play tonight? It depends, you know, it depends on my mood. But my question is, what's your guys' favorite character to voice? Since I know most of you are voice actors here, voice actress. Does that have yeah. to be like in, yeah. in, in the double doing with Mario Kart Gamer Dude or anything outside of that? Uh, it can be anything, honestly. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Aside from Emma doing my Ikikuba voice, um, there is this one, ca- um, one um, uh, character that I do like um, uh, voicing sometimes. Like, um, it, it was like way before I even got into like, doing Ikikuba. Um, there is this. Uh, I'm a one villain character in a in a in an upcoming game that I'm in called uh I'm a, and his name is I don't know his real name yet but 
um, uh, that's a mystery for, for to us. <laughs> but uh, um, uh, his his name is uh, Almighty Sin. Um, uh, he is a villain character, but he's not really that kind of villain character who's very you know evil. He's basically like a very funny villain and very um uh, arrogant, cocky kind of. So I'm basically <laughs> just some uh. Ooh, like, so like a it, so like a scourge kind of guy. Uh, yeah, kind kind of. So um, uh, but I don't talk like I'm a scourge. Um, I basically <laughs> just talk like like I'm a like, like this the entire time. Oh, hello there. How are you? Uh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Get out of my way, please. No, 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 no. Look at me. Look at me. Look how awesome I am. That's basically talking like oh, this. I'm basically so jet. More of like a jet guy because he thinks he's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, basically like Jed, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> like someone <laughs> who's someone who kind of thinks that they're better than everyone else. It, it is exactly very show offy. <laughs> I mean, even his spell names are like I'm um, uh, like show offy, like uh like I'm um, uh, my almighty power or like I am so awesome or top tier. There's a lot of spells, but yeah, basically he's an he's I, a, he's an idiot. <laughs> I I could think of another person here, but I don't I don't want to dig their name through the mud right now. <laughs> For yeah. now, though, I will do it later if they are. Now here. she says. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about the rest of you guys? Shout the hedgehog, hands down. <laughs> that was wow. That was that was a that was quick. <laughs> that was no. Quick and easy, perfect. perfect. What about you guys? Um, the surge voice is obviously a whole lot of fun. Um, especially because it does require sometimes for me to get back into it. So I'll just start like blabbering on in her voice just to make sure I'm back in it. So it's just, it's a lot of fun. But another one of my favorites, um, honestly might be for this character I play in, uh, it's called, it's like a channel called Heretical Tavern and her name is, uh, Shayna. She's a paladin and she's like, she's sort of valley Ooh. girl, but she also goes like super sultry and stuff like Ooh, that so it's just D &D a lot of fun now. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yes. so I, have, I have a lot of fun with that one and then all the other ones that i really like are super like excited for they're all like nda so i'm like oh but... <laughs> valid well yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, another paladin <laughs> is that everyone i mean dark cloud well, we forgot you're still me. um sorry no you're you're good i do like voicing kit like he's always fun to do I love your but, kid. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, why? Why? Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> I um, settle down, Kit. <laughs> oh, so oh, you're gonna kill me a cuteness over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But outside of like doing like the Sonic stuff, recently I was cast as um somebody's uh, original character, actually, for like their comics and stuff. Ooh. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. It was really cool. That sounds yeah, fair. his name his name is Tempo. He's he, he was inspired by like Mega Man and like Astro Boy and stuff. <gasps> and I've always wanted to play a character like that was like Mega Man. So, so I was perfect. like, you know what? Let's go. So he's kind of like this. Uh, he's not exactly a hero. Like he would burn down an orphanage for a cookie, pretty much. <laughs> oh, so he's like the opposite of Kit. Yeah, pretty much. Like oh dear. he sounds kind of like this. I'm tempo and I'm gonna burn your house down. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Is, yeah, why does he kinda sound adorable too? Like, See, that's it, the thing. <laughs> the creator <laughs> made it made him look adorable too, but he's not he he hates it. Oh. He's, wow. He's like, I don't like being called adorable. Stop it. Please. No. no. <laughs> That's your sin to answer for. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you burning down orphanages. I like That's my pastime. <laughs> well, your sin to pay is being adorable. No. <laughs> ah, the curious is restored upon you. You cannot escape from it. Yes. Hey, I think I like the sound of this guy. Hey, hey. Kid, hey. maybe you sit out for a while. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Whoa. I don't want to sit out. Why? Well, how dare. Listen, Kit. <laughs> when you oh. get to be a little bit older, 
Maybe you'll get some of that edge to you, huh? Oh, <laughs> no. oh man, break. heartbreak. <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, I'm just kidding. You kid. You're perfect the way you are. Oh. <laughs> I was going to okay, be okay. a song on the world's smallest violin. <laughs> <laughs> I understood that reference. Listen, oh, Drippy, dude. I wouldn't trade you for the world, so don't worry. Oh, oh, oh nice. nice. Just thank right. you, also, man. <laughs> also, oh, well, uh, I guess my time is up, so prank y'all later. Peace out. Peace oh, no. out. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Oh no, it's not prank us. I better be ready. <laughs> I'm scared <Right>. now. <laughs> so we have some second text questions from uh, mm-hmm. Radar here. All right, bring them in. So uh, to everyone, the gr- to the group, the Earth of Sonic's universe is yours to explore. If you were to take a day trip to any of the locations, where would you go? Oh, okay, that's easy. Um. I would definitely, um, uh, okay, so the science universe. Okay, so I would definitely um, go around maybe uh, Pagonia because it is just beautiful around um, the area. So uh, it is, plus the last time when uh, Sonic and Blaze went there, I just love the, how it was, uh, you know, designed. So I'm like, it looks very beautiful. And even though I, uh, I, I don't have Sonic on Leash anymore, I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it was a long time ago. <laughs> okay, so um, it, it, the, the area was a beautiful. So I think maybe going around there would be a beautiful th- thing because there's the locations and that food that's on a cat. I forget where he said it. He he got it, but the food looked good. So I'm gonna try that. Joseph's. Yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, I totally agree with you. Spagonia, 100. percent No contest. Like it's one of the best stages of Sonic Unleashed. The music is good. Everything's calm. There's a freaking university there. They better teach me animation. <laughs> but everything oh, else, I, I, I would totally go in Spagonia. Everything is just absolutely clean. I still want to know how Professor Pickle even got his name. Because that dude's a pickle. Who likes cucumber sandwiches? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> so I'm huh. going to Station Square. They already got a hotel for me. And it's got a pool and a beachside. That sounds awesome. Hey. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm gonna probably say Apatos. I want to try some of that ice cream. <laughs> oh, you mean Apatos? Yeah, and that that's ch- that, oh, jeez. What? Sorry, the video <laughs> started playing in my headset. That was weird. Um, <laughs> I was gonna say, and then the burger place in Station Square. You reminded me. I've always wanted to try that as a kid. Oh yeah, <laughs> it always looked so fun. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, uh, don't they have pizzas in the background of that of that burger place too? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't, don't know. I don't, think so. it, well, <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think there's a burger, a pizza place behind the burger joint, but uh, there might be pizza, possibly. Personally, <laughs> I'd agree with you, Dark Cloud. I'd, I'd go with Apatos. Oh, yeah, for sure. Let's go. That's also oh part of the into the inspiration Sorry. of Apatos, and it was really, it was so cool. But. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Dino says, yes. don't forget the burger guy. Yes. Can you place him <laughs> on that, that stone slab and you get like a chow egg or like a rock or something? Oh, yeah. You can also that throw awesome. in the ocean. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, Kevin, I see a hand raised. So uh, you want to call them up? Yeah, sure. I, I, I had another question I wanted to ask Edward. What made you want to start with imposter syndrome going forward instead of starting with the first episode? And I mean, just give me the first issue in your comic dub. Um, okay, that's actually my very easy. So, um, kind of my keeping in like my brief. So, um, I wasn't really like am I too into the IDW comments at first? I was aware of their existence, but wasn't like super into it. Metal Virus, it did get me like a little bit invested, but I didn't buy a lot, buy the comments until like when it got to the finale. That's when I was like, let me just buy a couple of issues here and there. Then Child Races came around, and, eh, and it's still okay. But then once I saw that panel of um, uh, Starline holding Tails' um, uh, um, uh, DNA, DNA, I'm like, wait, what is he doing? Is he making a clone thing? I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Then when the um, uh, premise and, po- and my images of Impossible Junior was going around, like, Whoa, what? No way. This is going to be cool. I kind of have like a thing for double ganger stories. So when that thing came around, I'm like, wow. And then the first panel 
of, of my imposter syndrome came around and I saw these characters. I'm like, oh God, these are fun. And, and, and then once I read, when I got my first my hands on issue, issue one, I'm like, oh God, this is beautiful. I got to dub this. I have to dub this. And I'm like, leg dub this. And then that's it. I don't want to worry about doing anything else. But then it blew up when I dub, when I got the dub out, it blew up. Okay. So <laughs> I'm like, oh, wow, this is, this is like, I need to keep doing this. So I'm glad that I, I am, I have him a baby in, in dark cloud to um, a voices characters and I'm a sort of to voice starline because once the people love their voices, like every time I um, have something out from them, they're like, I, these are my headcanon voices for the characters. I want them to voice them in the games. So like, I hope they do too. I hope they do Damn. too. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. One day. We are, uh, one day. Yeah. <laughs> let's go, sorry, let's go. So team for the starlight. Make it happen, people. Spread that hashtag. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, especially seeing some uh I mean, CBC surge in like speed battle. I'm pretty sure Kate will be there too. So one day, one day at least. So yeah, <laughs> that, that's, a reason, that's a reason I'm uh that's the reason why uh, I started with Imposter General. Because of the story and the characters, it like, was interesting. And you know how dark it was? I was very interested in seeing where the story was going, especially dubbed. It will be much better hearing it dubbed also. So I'm like, yeah. And there's still a lot of mystery to the characters. So I, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens next with those, those two. Mm-hmm. All righty. So thank, thank you for answering that question. I will call up the next person. And it was Click that had their hand uh, up first. Cool. All right, Click. Come on, Click yourself all the way to us. Hello. 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 Good afternoon. I actually have a question for all of you. Mm-hmm. All right, go Let's ahead. Go. You know the way. <laughs> no. no. You don't know the way. Uh, you don't know the way of my queen. We don't know. Yes, we do. Oh, my God. In all seriousness. Do your guys' voices ever crack when doing high pitch voices? Oh yeah, yes, yeah, absolutely, all the time. All the time. A- uh, doing Iggy Cuba's voice when I do his is high, pi- more high pitch and grady. And then when I get to cracking, like ah, oh, dang it, th- that's when I that's when I know <laughs> for sure one water break, and then two, I need to take a break because if Vocal I go any water. further, I'm gonna hurt my my voice. Y- huh? There have been many times. When, while voicing Kate, where I'll, I'll just be like, okay, time to go. Uh, ah, dang it. <laughs> go. <laughs> Have, you tried right. hmm? Have you tried vocal warm ups? Yeah, I have. My voice just cracks naturally, though, sometimes. To be, to be fair for Kit, I feel like a voice crack here and there, if you could still get like the line out, I feel like that would really fit with him. <laughs> That's true. That's very yeah. true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would totally agree. When it comes to voice cracking, oh my god, it's a pain in the butt. Because sometimes, time- though, it really can like enrich the character. Oh yeah, <laughs> what, what she said. <laughs> it can be absolutely intoxicating, but when you try to get your vocal cords and drink your water, everything will just come out smoothly. But when the first time when you don't have your water, you're you're pretty much kind of screwed. Stay hydrated, kiddos. Always, yeah. Stay hydrated. Just letting you know, voice over, for, for the acting tip. Stay hydrated. Keep your water handy. Yep. Yep. See. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for the question. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Appreciate it. All right. And he clicked away. <laughs> All righty. Cal, would you like to call up Cutie Cat next? Yes, indeed I would. Come on up, Cutie Cat. Let's go. Cat. <gasps> oh, yeah, it's Cutie Cat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa, it's Cad. I haven't talked to you in forever. Yeah, definitely. It's not like we just, uh, it's not like we talked two two days. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's been been a while, Cad. We had time in like five billion years. That's why we're. (laughs) No, me me and Cad were just on a call yesterday. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but, okay, but a nice. well, H- Jose and Darklight, I've already, I've already met you. Ed- Edward Sabin, Sunflower, <laughs> I-, I just met you two. It's, it's, nice, to, it's nice to finally meet you two. <laughs> nice you to meet too. you two. Okay, yeah. so, okay, so my question is, to all of, to all of you, so, so far in the comic dubs, if, if, 
I'm I'm sorry if this question has already been asked. I just hopped in hopped in here. What has been your favorite What has been your favorite moment so far in in the in the in the series of comic? Dubs? I I for words I guess. Uh, Stuttering curse you. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, your favorite moment in the comic so far? Yes. Okay, like that, in, that, that, like that's your, really like in your du- like in your du- in the dubs. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Aside from issue, issue fifty, um, my favorite part definitely was uh the final part in uh issue fifty six, but that was like the high states end all game before my certain kid went off for a couple of issues. That was like the biggest one because um uh, they, um uh, the artist I think Emma Stanley did say that when Surge was electrocuting Sonic to like uh, death, she technically did kill him for a couple of seconds. A couple of seconds, his heart stopped. So that was very dark. Like, oh my god, they actually let that happen, but they didn't say it, but it happened. So she technically killed him for a couple of seconds, but you know, plot armor. So <laughs> he came back. But yeah, that was basically my favorite part. But, you know, the voiceover from uh, Vivian and Emma Jet was very well done. So yeah, props to them. If I had a nickel for every time Sonic was killed by someone, I'd have two nickels. It's just a lot. It's <laughs> twice, right? <laughs> it's what? It's one of the nephilis. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, what are you guys? Tennessee. Ew. <laughs> My, mine is easily when she's screaming. I don't want your pity or your friendship. I want you gone. Like the way I, I was able to perform that line is easily my favorite that I did mm-hmm. in the dub. Yeah, you did do a just, great job. <laughs> a great job, great. I, I do it again, but I want to peek my mic or anything, and <laughs> so. <Violent>. I get <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's see. Right. For me, I think I already talked about it a little bit earlier. Well, there's actually two for me, but the w- one where like Tails is talking to Kit, trying to like calm him down, and he's like asking him what like I think he's asking him about Starline or something, and Kit mm-hmm. just screams, "I hate him." Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I don't scream like that very often. So that was fun. And then yeah. uh, the, the second the second one was like after that where I I think Kick gets like knocked out or something by Tails or something. Uh yeah, when uh he um uh, Tails turned off his water pack. Yeah, where where he's just like, please no, no, Serge, help me. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that, that yeah, those two parts. <laughs> nah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Search, please. <laughs> Someone give those two a hug. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. honestly. Really. Uh, as for me, um, okay, I'm not much of a big fan of the idea of com- comics. Yes, big shocker, a popular opinion. Don't hate me. <laughs> All right, but for me, in my honest, uh, honest opinion, I love to go with issue fifty. If the issue fifty where Eggman actually clobbered the hell out of Doctor Starline, yes, well, yeah. yes! absolutely. Yes! <laughs> no joke, I was kind of no jokes. I was kind of cheering at that part. Like that man. That's okay. It's okay. Go ahead. I I love the hyped stuff in this voice chat. <laughs> but yeah, but in all seriousness, uh, yeah, my favorite part was like uh, when Eggman grabbed Starline and whooped him, Molly whooped him straight to the ground because to me. That gives me the impression that Eggman is not just a smart genius, but that dude can also is smart when it comes to hand-to-hand combat, because I want to see a hand-to-hand combat with Eggman and Sonic. I mean, that will never happen, but <laughs> who knows? Reminder, but, in Lost World, he punched a wall of ice and said he yes. was <laughs> Yeah. That's I mean, we did get a little li- yeah. We did get a little bit of the RG Sonic comics, Goku. but that's different. <laughs> Yeah, but that's different. But regardless of that, um, I, that is my favorite part of um, the idea with Sonic Comics, even though I'm not a fan. And the reason why I said that, the reason why I'm happy that Eggman mocked Molly Watts Dr. Starline, Starline, because, unpopular opinion, I do not like Dr. Starline at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Sword T4 is going to kill me when he hears sorry. me. I'll say that I'm what? sorry if you're hearing this. It's, I absolutely love your Starline voice, but still... I, mm, if I if I could punch that man. Wait, like my Starline or Storty Starline? 
<laughs> Starlight in general. I think she means the. I think she means she doesn't like Starlight as a character. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, actually, like, all of us want to like you know after everything he's done, especially the Starship Kid. We all of us want to do something to him, but right now yeah. he's gone unless they bring him back Frankenstein style. So Don't. yeah, <laughs> oh, that it would take away from his death. death. Be back. That was a definite yeah. another favorite moment though was mm-hmm. when uh, Starline was doing the like video log the way Sword T delivered all of that. I loved it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Just absolutely crazed. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> okay well thank you thank you for answering my question a, f- a few things before i go and Zaba, i absolutely love your videos keep doing what you're doing jose and dark cloud i y- y'all are fun to hang around with i hope we get to talk more sunflower oh, yeah, you are an absolute, <laughs> sunflower you are an absolute inspiration to me especially what when, when doing surge i just i straight appreciate up, that like, that is so yeah. sweet of you. Your, your, your surge voice is what's inspired me to do my surge. <laughs> I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you so much. Yeah. That means a lot to me. Absolute inspiration. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. <laughs> See ya. Right. Thank Bye. you. Have a nice day, cutie cat. Have a great right. day. <laughs> so I don't really Hated see that. any other questions at the moment. No, we need more questions. Please ask us more questions. I'm having fun right now. But uh, now's the chance to run for a second round of questions. If you guys have any second questions, feel free to put your hands back up. You can come back up. Um, in the meantime, though, uh, Kevin, you want to ask another question? Yeah, um, I, Edward, I, I know you do other videos aside from IDW Comic Comic Dub. Uh, what what do those videos do you enjoy doing? Um, I know. Let's see. Uh, I'm um, other jobs that I do like. Um, aside from like a, like the original projects, I also like uh, doing like mini skits here and there. Like I know, I like right like there's a couple right now out there that I have like original creation. Like the most popular one I have right now is uh Luigi's uh Valentine's Day. Um, Jose, I think you uh, voice uh um, yes, I did. that one. Yeah, yes, that I one did, so- and it was so weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it was it's still like skyrocketing. It's like uh, what's the word uh, like the fourth fifth seventh most viewed video i I had my youtube channel so yeah those like one thing that i like uh i'm uh, a i'm uh, original projects and original fan dubs because i'm um, uh, apparently people really love my my dubs no joke the top three searches in my youtube channel are either id sutton w comment dub searching kit and luigi and daisy those are the th- top three things to my search in my channel it's it's it's, it's amazing <laughs> You also do video game discussions as well. Yeah, those 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 things are okay. Um, uh, they're not like I'm a uh, hugely in my life viewed, but I just like doing a uh, video on um, my uh, game discussion because you know I like re- I like I'm um, uh, talking about games that are going on right now, especially like review ones. And I do uh sound like IDW comic reviews. You know, I review the issues because you know I want to get my opinion out there, and people really like my opinion. So yeah, mm-hmm. and that's right. all she wrote. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I have a question for you guys as well. Yeah? Do tell. So, um, I want to know, what would you say is one of your biggest dreams that you wish to accomplish in the future? Okay. Um, this is an easy one. Um, have my own um, like original series um, out there, either as a book or a comic book or anime series one day. That's like a future um, pipe dream. But as, since I'm a writer, I do want to have that out there because I love writing a lot. Remember, a lot of the original projects I do, they're my own writing. So those are fan projects, but original series, I would love to have that, have that out there one day. Um, aside from that, I would also, I'm um, obviously would love to like voice in a, any like major game series. Thankfully, the game series that I'm majorly interested in, those series are never going to go away anytime soon. Mario, Sonic, those ones are never going away. So I have plenty of time and opportunities to reach that point but yeah those are like my two biggest dreams so far and so far already do accomplish that so far <laughs> <laughs> uh, one day one day i hope to accomplish it one day one day th- that's why that's the beauty of it I, I i have plenty of time to be a writer and the series i want to be voicing in uh, in any games and games or tv shows those are never going away anytime soon so i'm good plenty of time no rushing for sure mm-hmm. what about you guys let's see 
one of my like smaller dreams right now is to like voice in a fighting game. Ooh, ooh, that would um, be fun. Those are fun. Oh yeah. Boys. Um, as for like bigger, there's a few like manga that haven't gotten anime ad- adaptations yet that I've been reading that are like shonen. I'm mm-hmm. hoping that like I can get like at least get to audition for like a main character role for those manga or like any anime at this point. Mm-hmm. That'd be awesome. And I'll just get into like a some some triple A game. Like yep. nothing too big, but mm-hmm. you know, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm working on it. We'll yeah. see what the future holds. Definitely, it's a dream to even audition for Surge. <laughs> but other oh, yeah. than that, I, I, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable. Uh, I've got a lot of cool stuff coming down that I'm really excited to be able to talk about someday. But for yeah, as far as dreams go, yeah, <laughs> definitely for Surge. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to agree with that. Uh, I guess I also want to voice kit one day too. <laughs> yeah. my, my surgeon kid and my surgeon kid are very popular right now and obviously one day when you get into like games that are voiced obviously i'm a, unless you're gonna audition right now if you do i will be a proud i'm a i feel like a proud father if I, if you guys am a <laughs> voice the characters in the official game one day i, I will feel like that's true <laughs> it's true <laughs> if you guys ever voice him one day in the official game i'll be like I know those guys. I, <laughs> I, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know yeah. Proud poppy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would. So yeah, it's one day though. That's the beauty of it. Side so series never going away. So you got time. Oh, that's cool. That's true. Hey, my my big dream is to wear bigger pants. <laughs> all right, but in all seriousness, um, for my big dream, um, I hopefully to become an anime because ah people- yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm a sucker when it comes to cartoons, um, CGI, a 2D animation, mostly 2D animation, because those stuff are dying, but there's still many out there that are still resurging, and I want that to keep it up. For me, I do want to actually, like, you know, make my own animated series because I do have some ideas in mind that I do want to share. If I ever do become an animator, Santa Hedgehog, I will take that opportunity, as long as there's not some roadblocks in the way, which there might as well will be. <laughs> but I do want to have that opportunity. If not, I will just become a voice actor or maybe just a video editor because I'm pretty sure you guys see my work. If you guys saw my saw me in the credits, which Edward saw my, I hope you credit me in the, in the, the description. If not, I will come after you. <laughs> of, course, of course, my friend, amigo, bro, hermano, of course I would. Of course I would. I'm looking after you, Edward. Don't act <laughs> <laughs> Like sleep with one eye open. <laughs> Where's my wallet? Because I do have one eye open. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for answering my question. No problem. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All right. I see Drowsiest has another question. Hello, oh, Drowsiest. What you got, dude? What you got for us, Drows? All right. Coming back for round two. Yes. Yeah, round two for Sonic R, gamer dude. Oh my god. Really? Really? (laughs) All right, for real though, but for real though. (laughs) We gotta talk more often, dude. (laughs) All right, yep, yep. Um, To some of you guys who wants to answer this, but uh, do you also got a favorite restaurant to chill at? Favorite restaurant? Okay, so, hmm. Favorite restaurant to chill at? Well, I'm a sucker for any burger place, so. Um, around where I am, there's a Five Guys, a Smash Burger, uh, aside from that, oh, Buffalo Wild Wings is a good one. Um, Longhorn Steakhouse is great. Uh, let's see, anything else on the top of my head? Um, that's basically like the all that I can, uh, that were like chill and normal. That would I'm chill out if I want to ever want to do that. But yeah, but I'm, I'm a sucker for burger thing, so burger places is where I want to go to. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mirror that actually. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's this place near me. Um, I know it's in like other parts of the U.S., but it's a place called Steak and Shake. Mm-hmm. Ever heard of it? And yeah, I just like hang, hanging out there. It's got like just a, at least the one by me has got like a really chill, like old school kind of vibe to it. Mm-hmm. And they have some really good burgers, and they're cheap. So, <laughs> old fashioned looking. I love old fashioned looking diners. Oh, I, for sure. Oh, those are fun. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I, I'm I myself for like a place to hang out at. I love hanging out at like tea shops and cafes and stuff like that. And I'll draw. Yeah. And like I'll draw with my friend. He draws too. And that's my favorite. Cool. Oh, Ooh, nice. that that's an interesting one, actually. I really have any place to hang out because I have no friends. In re- I have no friends in real life. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I do have oh. some. I do have some, but they are they're a rare occurrence. Um, for me, I would like hang out. Mostly like McDonald's. <laughs> um, if not, maybe somewhere in a pizza place. By they're not any chairs or tables. But I usually like go to like some movie theaters or bookstores because that's that's a place where one of my one of my real life friends that I hang out with usually lets to go there. And if they ask me if I want to go there, I'll be like, screw it, I'll go there. I'll take the opportunity. Let's go hang out. Let's do something. Let's read some books. <laughs> Any anything else that you know we can just chill and hang out, and just talk, then yeah, hey, I'll take that chance. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a bookworm, just to let you know. Sorry. <laughs> 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 right. But hope that answers your question there, Drowsy Rocket. Yeah. Ah, yep. Good. All right. And I'm glad I answered the second question. Um, now see ya, Nickelodeon Kart Racers Gamer Dude. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! You can't even uh, defend I yourself. Know, from I, I, I kind no. of thought it would have been funny if he had if he had come up when he said Sonic R Gamer Dude. If he is, if his question was, "Can you feel the sunshine?" That would be. Opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> That was a missed opportunity. <laughs> oh yeah. man! Now that I've suggested it. You can't do it. That was that's stealing my joke. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure somewhere, someone somewhere has done Mario Kart Demo, dude. Woohoo! Somewhere down the line, I'm sure somebody had done that. So, uh, actually, actually, I did hire uh, my, one of my voice actor friends, uh, Jesse Pinnick. Um, uh, he, he does a great Mario voice, so I um, I asked him to do that for my outro, mm. for my intro, my credit. So yeah, he did already. <laughs> I, I, love it. I love it. <laughs> All right. Kevin, I see another hand raised. Do you? Yeah. Uh, Dino Kaiju had another question. Yay. All Round right, two. Come on back. Going for another question. Hello. 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 Welcome back. No, oh, I'm here. I'm back. Wait, that's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, that's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're we're just being random here. That's all. <laughs> yes, I love randomness. Best way to live life. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, Mike. Okay. So, my question is for everyone here. Uh. So. Okay. So. So, I'm quite curious to know. Um. Um. Uh. For everyone, for you know, Dark Cloud, Edward, Jose, and Vivian here. Um. For you, what are some of the favorite things that you love about voicing? Your favorite, uh, your more popular characters, and in other, and even other characters that you voice as, like Vivian for Surge and Dark Cloud for Kid, and etc. Okay, um, mm. for voicing um, Iggy Koopa and the and some of the stuff that I do. Um, fun fact: someone actually did say at one point before I even started voicing Iggy Koopa that. It's like your voice actually does sound like Iggy Koopa voice. Whenever I was when I was asking to see what Mario character would like to see me like try out one and thing, and they say like, your voice sounds like Iggy Koopa. Like what? Iggy Koopa? Are you kidding me? No way! No <laughs> way! Then, um, a couple like uh, like a year or two after that, that's when uh, I I was I wanted to do something Mario related, and I remembered about that tweet. And I'm like, hmm, let me try. And then once I put that out there. A lot of people really liked it, and they really did like it. I mean, so many people actually thought that I was I'm a voicing uh, Iggy and one of my other my colleagues on my projects and stuff. Like, no, it's not me. I don't voice Iggy in that. But uh, yeah, Iggy Koopa is great to voice. He's funny, and plus he wears glasses like I do, so he's a bit nerdy. And I don't know how smart he is, but um, the only like drawback is you know doing him a uh, the Iggy Koopa boy for so long it's so grating and you know it hurts the throat and you know I don't <laughs> talk anymore. So <laughs> doing it for a long time for an hour, 30 minutes, I cannot do any more than that. I gotta take breaks from here and there. But uh it's very fun, you know, making all those of my um uh laughter and no- noises and stuff. It's funny. But aside from that, the other character I like voicing is again um, uh, that villain character I mentioned a-, a long time ago earlier. Um on my sin, he's very arrogant it does my voice but 
more lower and then just sounding like this and you know just being like Ugh, whatever i got this i'm why would i have to worry about it i'm fine that's a great you know that's you know like it's a little relaxed kind of dude you know but yeah those are my, t- my two characters that i like voicing mm. let's see so for kit like i like that like I can just be just a just a a little guy. I'm just a little man. Shy. <laughs> just thinking that. that's the truth. <laughs> the <laughs> he can go from I'm just a little guy to if you hurt Serge, I will kill you kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that that's that's always fun. And then I also do Sonic. <clears throat> so like, I don't know. I just like how um that's what I'm looking for. Authentic? I feel fr- I, I feel free when I can when I do them. Like if that makes sense, not f- free, but that and more sense, ener- yeah. energetic. I guess that's what I mean. Ah, uh, so like, right. yeah, because I can do whatever I want because I'm Sonic, like that. <laughs> and, as, and, and not to mention, no copyright law in the universe is going to stop. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Let's see, for me, when I was just like doing q like, uh, when I was just having fun with it, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I, I was a little 50 50 and wanted to do q because I'm not sure I was it was the voice. The reason why I did q was because, well, I did it for a friend while I was doing like this. <laughs> oh my god, you want to mention this? This weird, stupid Sonic Colors randomness real time dub. We were inspired by SnapCube. Oh, oh love SnapCube. Yeah, absolutely. She's a treasure, and she must be cherished. But in all seriousness, it's not really like for for the youngins. But still, we wanted to be sure it was fun, and I got the role of Cubot, and I I wanted to do Cubot for a friend if he ever needed it. And then Edward just noticed, and he if he wanted my Cubot, I'm just like, hey, I'll do Cubot for you. And while I was doing, you know, my voice of Cubot, trying to make sure I was I was trying my best to match it exactly like Wally Winger's Cubot from Sonic Colors and the rest, and. And I want to be sure I had that robot filter, and th- thank God it, it managed to stick with me. So I was glad I had fun with it. And hey, here I am. And I assume that also includes the whole voice chip malfunction. Yes, I will. Possibly, if you want to add that to the lots of power, but like ah, shimmer me timber. My voice chips all catty whoppers. If you want that, I'll give it to you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now, what about you, Vivian, with our favorite green electric timber? <laughs> Uh, my favorite part about the surge voice is like totally just, uh, especially at the ends of sentences, sometimes it's just going more like feral and growly and like evil. And I really like that. But then about this latest issue I I dubbed for her, I I really enjoy her like insincerity while she, she sounds like so like, oh no, yeah, do that. It'll be fine. Just go ahead. Do that. It'll be great. And you said you wanted this. Like, just her kind of being like that is so fun. <laughs> I love that. But definitely, I, 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 I go with the, like, parts where I can just bring it down lower and growly. Like, that kind of thing. That one's really fun. Because I, I like how intimidating she can be with that. I can tell you're saving too tired when you do that voice. I got your audio <laughs> clips. Huh? No, I, I can t- tell because <laughs> I can Getting tell t- how you voice that uh, that saber tooth gremlin search. I see your, I heard your audio clips. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the- <laughs> yeah. But it is how it is. <laughs> It is. I thought you said I was getting tired. I'm like, man, I, I do have a little bit of a cold. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh boy. Okay. Well, that pretty much answers my question. Uh, yeah, that answers my question. Cool. Um, yeah. I hope you guys see you soon and uh, enjoy the panel. Bye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. We will not enjoy it. <laughs> not enjoy it. I'm already enjoying so much of it. Same. I'm chilling. Like Bob Dylan. <laughs> Bob Dylan. <laughs> Good rhyme. Good one. Hey, do you have another question to ask? Um, yeah. Um, this, this, this is to everybody, everybody can answer too. Like, what one thing you really want to see happen in the comic? And some, and when that thing happens, like, all right, we're going to dump this right now. I, I'm very curious. Oh, oh okay. Okay. Um, uh, I want, okay, so 
I definitely like. I don't know what they're going to do with it. They do it. I'm going. I'm going to be so happy. But I definitely want to see a big time showdown between Sonic, Metal Sonic, Shadow, Sur and, and Surge. All four of them against each other. All four of them against each other in a big arena. Like they got like a catch or whatever. I don't know. I don't know the scenario, but a big time. I'm a. I'm a bit you know, my showdown with those four because I can just imagine how the interactions between all of them will will be like because I just know if that happens we are so dubbing it yes oh that I'd love to see how, mm -hmm. how about how about for the others what would you all like to see uh, um, I'd like to see oh sorry no, <laughs> no, I was just gonna say I'd like to see like when Surgeon Kit if they ever like finally find out exactly where they came from or if they were purely just clones or created or if they were like kidnapped like, I, I want them to find out their true origin because I think they would drop, like, everything they've been, like, feeling and experiencing and just, like, lose it, you know? Like, yeah, so my fingers and toes are crushed for that to happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like it will because, especially with Clutch, but see, it sounds like, like, he knows where everything, like, he's, I, I kind of feel like that maybe he was the one who gave Search and Kit to Starline, but we don't know how he got them. So mm -hmm. we don't know, but there is that rumor that uh that that speculation that Clutch is a uh, Surge's dad and her mom was a Tenric. So I don't know if that is true, but that'd be so dark if it was very dark. Yeah, that'd be so intimidating. Mm -hmm. Regardless, I look forward to voicing him. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey. uh, Viv go ahead. Vivian actually took mine, so. <laughs> Sorry. Well, of course, we'd have the like the same like. <laughs> you on the same wavelength. Same wavelength. <laughs> okay. Does that mean I'm still in the spotlight? <laughs> Good. All right. Um, for me, um, I would say like two things. Uh, I wouldn't say particular. Uh, one thing is that I would like to see like um, I don't think this is really gonna happen when it comes to like legal rights and whatnot. But I do want to see like other Sonic characters from different forms of media appear in the IEW Sonic comics. I know it's not really going to happen because I do want to see like um, some fashion like the Sally and the Freedom Fighters, Sonya and Manic. Like, they don't have to like make them related. Just make like their own interpretation of it and try to at least make them fun or interesting. But if that does not happen, the second best thing I will want to see happen, I hope to God it will happen, give Dr. Eggman a super form. Give him a transformation. I, I would love that. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I know Sonic I, Channel had done that, but I, I agree with you there. Yeah, they, they did do it. I'm just like, oh my god, I will love Because yeah. uh, for years, Eggman's been finding Sonic with his mechs, his bandits, his giant recreations, his deadly robots, but we never see him got like a uh, hand-to hand combat with the blue football. I would want to see him get like a transformation. Like, we tries to utilize the Chaos Sermolt or with the Master Emo and, and injects that into his body in some fashion. Because there is a possible way they can actually do that. Uh, I just do want to see that where it happens, have like a big climactic battle. That, that will be an epic way. If that happens, I will possibly give IEW Sonic a chance. But my hopes on that are slightly on the down low. <laughs> hey, um, uh, real quick, real quick, um, uh, I actually do have two other things. Um, uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, real quick. I'm a uh, actually I'm a uh, say I'm a uh, the super former uh, for Eggman. There is that um, uh, thing. Uh, spoiler for Sonic Dream Team. If you don't want to hear this? Mute me right now. But uh, right. uh Eggman did kind of have like a nightmare dream form in there. That kind of oh, yeah. Like, yeah. So it, it, it's not impossible. So that's one thing I'm glad about. But the last thing I will say that I do hope to see one day is maybe. More in instances where we see stuff in a uh, Blaze's universe because we don't really see that much of it anymore. We, and we only see like Blizzard of her, of, her of her castle, but we don't see like her world. We don't see an adventure going on in there that much. I would love to see more of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. full dimension. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And an another thing is since you brought this up, Ed, I also want to see um, Silver's future as well because the thing is. Yeah. Yeah, because here's the thing. We saw Silver's future, and it was, like, clean and glossy, because I thought it was going to be, like, Crisis City from 6 kind of thing. But no, I would love to see Silver's future, because there are some opportunities you can utilize Silver's future when it comes to the inhabitants and the locations. Yeah, plus we don't even know if he has any friends in, in the future, does he? We don't know. We don't know. So, any, yeah, uh, try it. 
Yeah, or any enemies, for, uh, for example. <coughs> Eggman Dego. <coughs> Uh, that guy is right now. We don't know. We don't know. Ian doesn't like him. I, I, I remember. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he is Eggman is descended from the future, the same future that. But if Sega can at least give him the okay, then come on. I don't see what the issue is. We'll see. Okay, now that we've mentioned Sonic 06, can I just say I think Soliana would be a great place to visit. <laughs> you could. Yeah. yeah why not? <laughs> well, that's that's a pretty. Good point. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's pretty looking. It's still pretty. I, it's a pretty I town. thought about that because we had the earlier question, and I was like, that would be a great place to. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah something else would be great. Mm-hmm. Agreed. <laughs> Bye. Indeed. Oh, it's me. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Ask us. So, um, to Edward. Mm-hmm. What would you say is was one of the most challenging dubs that you've produced? Uh, hmm. Uh, let's see. I would I have to say it is a tie between the Thunderstorm comic dub and the issue fifty one because issue fifty was was remember it was a double issue, not like the normal issue. It was forty pages to twenty, so it was way longer. So I spent like a lot of time working on it, like a lot. And since the video was very long, that I had to make sure every single thing was um, was um, appropriate and you know was okay because again, it's forty pages long. So I had to make sure everything was accurate: the sound effects, the um, audio, making sure everyone else's audio is a okay, nothing misstep- misstepped or anything. So yeah, I'm glad that it worked out. Um, for fifty six, again, I had to make sure that. The sound effects were okay, and then um, uh, I know that I, we, me and Jose, um, uh, switched up. Pitley, like he edited fifty four and fifty six, while I am um, I handled the uh, other other two, and both of them again were still a challenge. But I want to make sure everyone was uh, a okay, and then um, I don't know, um, uh, Jose, did you like having like um, uh, issue like any struggles with your thing, um, uh, um editing wise? I can confirm that this is true. Yes, uh, so. Yeah, I, I would agree. I did. I wouldn't say like I had complete trouble. I was just more of the annoyance of just trying to, you know, make sure it's on par when it comes to the quality. Because if you guys saw Thunderstorm, you saw there was like a different change of quality. Because like Edward said, he did it 53 and 55, while I did 56. Um, you guys can tell by the end of the credits. <laughs> but yeah. When it, yeah, because when it came to that, I had to do like masking out, not masking out, but brightening out the text, putting so many special effects and the glowing effects. I had like so many different filters and even uh, lots of glowing effects on my arsenal to make sure that it was good in quality because I did not want it to look stale. No offense, Edward. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah a, a lot of people always compare mine and, and yours. Like, can we get sometimes people say you know, they want yours doing it more mostly than mine because. I'm on newsflash, everyone. I'm, a, I'm I'm not like a highly skilled, incredible I'm a editor. I'm okay, but I'm a I'm a Jose, Jose and Lisa is way better and you know editing stuff. Like I tried it, but it, I, I just couldn't do it. So yeah, it, that, that's why I'm a you know the things are different. But yeah, I think uh, Thunderstorm huh? and Issue Fifty were the most challenging ones because of how long and made sure the quality was great. I remember that when I give you uh, evidence. Uh, advice when it comes to buying the text, you were struggling a lot with that when it came to like with blazing knuckles in that annual panel. Yeah, that one I had to actually. That is actually one other thing that was ch- challenging. That one's where I actually used um uh, winding out text. Um, uh, the voice of Orbot of uh, Ethan Chaotic, he um uh, helped me uh take that out thankfully, and you know p- help me put it together thankfully. So props to him uh, for for that. So yeah, he was able to help me with that one. So yeah, at least we got that out of the way. But yeah, again, the, um, uh, the top two struggling ones were issue fifty and thunderstorm. Mm-hmm. I think awesome. You're awesome. Go, go ahead. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. So kind of, uh, kind of going off of that, um, to uh, Vivian and Dark Cloud, what were some of the most challenging of of those comic dubs for you guys to do as the voices of Surge and Kit? Um. Hmm. Honestly, I would say issue fifty. Just because there's a lot of emotion that goes into that one with everything that's happening with like Kit and Surge and everything like that. Um, 
I'd really have to think about that. And I'd have to like refresh my memory and look at each one, honestly, because like, I don't know. <laughs> I got a bad memory. So um, Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> uh, probably uh, doing some of the screams for the like major fight scene because I wanted to make sure like those conveyed enough you know because this was a lot for her and like making sure i would hit the correct beats for like when she's like i can't and like those specific lines that like are like really like even if they're super short or super simple but they like actually really mean a lot to the character because she has a lot of like small breaks sometimes where she realizes like she's powerless to herself like to her own coding pretty much or that, like, in the latest issue when Amy's like, you don't have to do this if you don't want to. And she's like, you really mean that? Like, it's a lot. Like, it, it's very simple, but you want to hit the right, like, feeling for that line, you know? The deep undertone. I, 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 do, yeah. I, do, I do think um, uh, that line with a- Amy and Serge, I do think what um, uh, that will reflect in later issues. I don't think um, uh, they're going to get like 100% redeemed, but I do think it oh, will no, like, no. I, I do think <laughs> no, um, no. Re- I, I do think it'll like resonate with her for a while. I don't think, I don't know how the big epic, um, uh, how the arc will end. I don't know how it'll end, but I do think maybe something will happen. Maybe like she won't really go out there and hurt um, uh, Amy or anyone like I don't I can't really um, tell because you know we don't know the issues but I do think maybe something um will happen with that we've seen that with with um, a search but I don't know how Kit will you know go along of course search and Kit will just go along with what search is doing but you know I do think that one panel will resonate with something because they wouldn't have that if it wasn't going to mean anything yep no that's true yep we'll just see what happens <laughs> yep if it don't happen we're going to go buck wild <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for answering that question. No problem. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kevin, you see Radar's third question there? Yeah, I'll go ahead and read it. it it's time for Radar question number three. It's time for something with a little bit of power and in, in bold. To the, to the I love power. power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what what magical gemstone that the, that the prize from Sonic from the Sonic franchise would you like to use for its our mystical power, emerald, ruby, toast pad, prism, the choice is yours. Um, I, I'm a, I know the chaos emeralds are probably like the most common answer here, but, um, I do really do like how the soul emeralds are like, you know, different in their own way, you know, like kind of parallel to the chaos emeralds, but they mm. definitely like resonate more with me because, you know, they're different, unique, and all that, especially since, you know, how players can easily use it, but I think maybe I could. Use that. I don't know how. Oh, I don't know how a super four my Sonic will see will look like, but I know it'll be so awesome. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, I definitely would. I, d- I definitely think maybe uh, using the Soul Emeralds would be like a great idea. I do wish um, uh, maybe we will see like other um, uh, mystical um, uh, like prisms or whatever would work. I know those like uh, I know like in during Urban Warfare um, uh, arc. I know they use the like mini chaos um, uh, prism and stuff for that thing um and those uh in sonic adventure battle 2 uh they had they i mean Sonic Adventure 2 battle my bad um uh they had the those chaos little chaos, uh, chaos yeah, those, yeah chaos rise those ones i know those will um, uh, many things um yeah I, again though i think of my keeping it short i'm gonna say i'm using soul emeralds for either flying or it's a beast of strength because even i'm um, a uh, even though right now I'm not going to say the story that I have planned for my son, I'll see, but right now he doesn't have any powers. Oh, damn it. I spoiled it. Damn it. I'm a, uh, <laughs> um, I'm a, okay. So, uh, before that, uh, I would, um, when he's powerless, I think using the, uh, soul numbers for any daily use to fly, lift to restraint and anything like that would be, be great. But for something like funny, I think maybe I would, uh, do maybe pull a prank on one of my, one of my, my fr- friends or family just to uh, see how they react. <laughs> <laughs> Evil, I love it. Yeah. All right. For me, um, I know there's some people like the Chaos Serum, but you know, as well as the Anarchy Bureau, Anarchy Comics, and um, oh yeah, I forgot about those. 
Yeah, I, I love those things. Um, but for me, uh, if when it comes to mystical gemstones, I mean, those would get hard to collect. But as much as I will admit, I hate the other side, please, sorry, but in all seriousness, um, I, I'm starting to actually enjoy a bit of the warp topaz since you actually brought that up, Kevin. Because the thing is, I'm a sucker for like teleportation and everyone else that, you know, going from one place to another. Because I do love it when a character like teleports from one place to another and they use an object just to use to warping from one portal to another. It kind of gives me like Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange vibes. <laughs> so for me, I would say to the warp topaz, it's transporting from one area to another farther away so I can meet my family outside the country. Heck, I'll take that opportunity. So pass for the go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mimic that. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> for travel, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh yeah. Like it's just like, hey, hmm, I wanna go to Italy. Warps next day. Oh, I wanna go to Japan. Cool. Exactly. Now I'm there. Just get home. <laughs> hey, okay. Like, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's actually a good idea. Especially when I want to go out of country. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's the most <laughs> practical. <laughs> For real. Right. Yeah. And what about what about um, you? So, are you asking me? No, I was, I was thinking sunflower. Sunflower. Sorry, my butt, <laughs> my butt cut off. But I was like, teleportation is awesome too. But then to add to this, because I was originally going to be like, hell with using it. I I, I want to. I want to be able to touch the Master Emerald. I want to, like, it looks so, like, smooth and just, like, I've always wanted to touch it. I don't know. <laughs> you want to be, be in my life, how it was during the, uh, <laughs> touching it. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you know, I want to sit, I sit my booty on it. I want to maybe, yeah, my maybe face. sit on it, put my face on it. It just looks so smooth. I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> it actually fits no my left eye. <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me Knuckles wouldn't uh, take very kindly to it. <laughs> no, he would not. Yeah, I, I, I keep imagining that it feels like the smooth glass material. Hell, I don't yeah. know. Right. Exactly, but it like wouldn't break. Especially because it can break. If you touch it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, touch it, it doesn't seem like strength. it'd be as fragile, you know? You know, honestly, if I, if I had to pick, honestly, and... I, it would be heavily regarding the fact that it would have to be under extreme caution. Uh, I would pick the paradox prism. Oh, that would that was also gonna be my, that was gonna be my oh, close I second. About that, dang. Yeah, I, actually, I remember that was gonna, that was gonna be my second guess, but I, I was gonna be like alternate dimensions. How, how the hell am I gonna use? <laughs> Just imagine getting to meet an alternate dimension version of yourself. It would be kind of crazy. Yeah, crazy, it was yeah. that would be interesting. Unless, uh, unless my side was a mass killer. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He just never know. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for that question, Radar. And, and Dino and he are like, here, have have a cat. You you touch it, it breaks. I'm like, no, oh, look at the little thing. As <laughs> <laughs> you can touch the master mm-hmm. emerald, it ain't breaks. Oh, knuckles gunning and gunning for you. <laughs> you touch my emeralds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did it. Blame it on Rouge. He'll buy it. <laughs> yep. No, don't blame anything on me. It was all you. <laughs> <laughs> we were done about that. I love that. <laughs> uh, all right, Kevin. Uh, I think we could probably ask like one more question each. I think we got time for that. Yeah, we have time for one more. I don't see any hand raised or anything. Uh, I I can do it with the last question now. Uh, what what? kind of project do you all have like in in the very near future is there anything that that you have in in the work or in the plan um <laughs> uh, i do have like um, aside from like the current products i have right now there is like one original science series i want, want to do a fan series um it a couple a couple of them, uh, um, uh, years in the f- future so so everyone's a little bit older and and you heard me spoil about my 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 OC having power, so I I kind of I said that. So um, <laughs> that's a uh, one th- one thing. And yes, Surgeon Kid are going to be in there. So yes, I'll I'll say that right now. So yeah, you have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's go. Yes, they're in the, in there, and they're in there. So look forward to that. Um, it'll be a lot more there. It'll, ha- it'll kind of be like how IDW has it, like different arts here and there. The first arc will be my old, by my Asana go see. The second one will be like, be about Amon Silver and Blaze. The third one will be about uh, blah, 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 um, uh, what's his, what's the name? Uh, I'm a, I'm a, basically the, actually no. The second one will be actually about the 
um, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic himself, and you know, Sonic and GUN. I won't mention what the problem with that is, but I won't spoil it. But basically, it falls on uh, issue one. But uh, then the other projects um, uh, that I have is a uh, a fan Mario series where again it takes place a couple years in the future, but it's more. It has a lot more like depth towards it because in that one, um. Mar Mar Mario and in, in that in that future Bowser and everyone else um, uh, they have a peace treaty so they're no longer enemies anymore so everyone is like just moving on with their lives but um uh, Mario's thinking about probably um uh, going to the next level with, with my Princess Peach maybe and everyone else is just going on their own but Luigi he's just left behind so that's like a big thing that, that I'm uh, wor working on has more realism into it. So wow, those are two projects that I have in it involved and planned. And yes, they actually do. And yes, before I want to ask for my other projects, um, yes, they are kind of canon. So everything that happened in the in the in the Sonic series and Mario series that I have, all the projects that I have before, yes, they all happened in there. So you'll hear you'll hear um, uh, mentions about that. And yes, that and yes, the IDW comments are ca canon to that. So yada yada. So yeah. Cringe. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, so that's basically it. Let's see. So for me, I'm trying. I've been working on dubbing the Metal Virus arc for the past like six years, I think. So I'm mm. still trying to get through to like issue 32 at least. I'm on like 24 right now. So there's that. Um, there's a dub of Seasons of Chaos that I've that I need to get. <clears throat> need to get done. Um, right. Current, currently writing because I do sometimes do like these audio dramas of like adventures with like Surgeon Kit. I've done like Woo, I think yeah baby yeah, yeah baby <laughs> let's go Surgeon Kit yeah, yeah. they've mostly been just like hol holiday things so far, but mm -hmm. I am currently working on one where they meet Scourge and Fiona. <laughs> oh God. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I can imagine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scourge is gonna. Oh god! I want a Scourge and Scourge interacting with Scourge and Fiona. Oh dear goodness! Oh no! Oh, oh no! It's, it's gonna. It's gonna be hell incarnate. Yeah. And then I also um, there was this old Mega Man manga called. There was like called like Mega Man Mega Mix and then Giga Mix. Oh yeah, um, I know. Though I remember those. Yeah, uh, it got a few years back. It got a re-release with like that was like fully colored called Mega Man Master Mix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got that one, too, actually. Yeah, I'm going to um, be d uh, dubbing like the first volume of that as well. That's going to be like farther off in the future. But yeah, and then I might do I did the first arc of the Mega Man Archie comics, like the first four issues mm -hmm. might do more in the future, but at the moment, I do not know. Plus some other like original audio dramas and stuff like that. So yeah. Great. <laughs> okay. So for my end, I do have some projects like uh, one of my channel in particular, which is uh, uh, Word of Caution. It's not family friendly. <laughs> but so don't worry. I'll leave a warning for you guys. Um, I always do for my old videos, but okay. Um, I do want to actually uh, get to work on some of my videos because I talk about like video games in a very comical sort of way. It has a kid Icarus kind of feel, if you don't know if that YouTuber by any by any means. But basically, I do have some videos in the works, but I, I have some more video game comic dubs I need to get into the mix for my friends because they're getting me crowded everywhere <clears throat> at work. <laughs> but I do, I do have some videos on my channel that I want to work on. Or I don't want to talk about some Sonic the Hedgehog stuff because I want to talk about like Sonic Frontiers as well as Sonic Superstars and how it's made it. <laughs> Please don't kill me on that. Um, and I also do. Sorry. And I also. Okay, okay. And I also want to talk about some other video game stuff because my channel is not. Um, in case you guys haven't noticed, I'm not really a Sonic tuber. Yes, big shocker. Please don't hate on me. <laughs> but I do want to talk about other viewer games because I do have some in the mix. I do want to talk about, like, say, Kingdom Hearts as well as uh, a Crash Bandicoot collab that I want to start with my good friend Wade Motions. Uh, shout out to you, bro. I love you. No, <laughs> boss. But I do want to actually get those off the ground because there, I do have some good ideas and some good jokes I want to sprinkle into my scripts because, trust me, 
fun. It's going to be fast paced. It's going to be wild. Trust me, it'll make your eyes pop. <laughs> but word of mouth, it's still not for kids. So yeah, keep that in mind. What about you, Sunflower? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, I um, obviously got some like NDA games, but there's a game dropping next month called Raw Metal that I voice a like uh like a mob enemy that you like constantly kill and then another uh enemy that's kind of a spoiler so i can't say but it looks really cool and i'm excited for that to drop because it was it was a lot of fun to record for especially the secret character Ooh. i'll drop the Ooh, uh trailer in the audience chat but yeah so I, uh, not really any like Sonic projects unless like more Surge stuff comes up or anyone like reaches out and like they're like, hey, I want you to do Surge for this for me. I'll do that. Got you, fam. Uh, I did uh, <laughs> for there's this uh, someone who does like dubs for the racers or that game, the mobile game that Surge oh, was just dropped in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, their name is like Simi and I do Surge for them and I, they just dropped like a, a Valentine's Rouge one. I did a couple Surge lines for. Ah, so that was, nice. That was fun. Cool. Sorry, I was Sweet. all over the place there. <laughs> we are all over the place from front and back. All right. Mm. Well, I think that that will pretty much about do it for us. Um, awesome. But thank you guys so much for tuning <laughs> into this Q and A, and thank you guys for coming on board and, and chatting a little bit about the channel, about what you do, and all that sort of stuff. It's great to showcase some some rising talent and you guys' uh, work is, is very, very good. And it's always a pleasure to have some cool guests on. And I, I can speak for myself when I say I'm honored to be a part of your cast. Uh, and it's honor. It's an honor to have you here at Revo. Yep. Yeah. Welcome first. to the family. <laughs> Let's Thank go. You so much. It was great yeah. being here. Being huge honor. How long I've been wanting to be like part of some religion for like a super long time. So I'm glad to be here. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. hard to be with all you guys big. for the first time ever because I never get the opportunity to have to talk with you guys. And being a guest here, a panelist with you guys, is such a freaking honor. Yep. It was my first, it was my first time being on a panel. So, yeah, it, it's been a lot of fun. A, yeah, it's Yay. been a cool experience. Thanks right. for having me. <laughs> well, thank you guys for coming on. And thank you, Kevin, for. Uh, for helping me to co-host this. Yeah, thank you for having me. All right. Do you want to go into detail about the next panel that we will have? Yeah, it's the perfect panel, which of course is going to be a cat catastrophe. Ha ha pun. Uh, that, uh, that, <laughs> yeah, that will be Ew. on. <laughs> that will be on Ew. Thursday at seven <laughs> seven p.m. Eastern time. All right. Are you all there. Yeah, we'll see you there. Until next time, guys, you all take care. Have a good rest of your day. We'll see you. Bye-bye. I thank you. Thanks for coming, Bye. guys. Thanks for coming. Bye. Look forward to work on my dubs. See ya. Have a, nice, have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to follow all of our guests on their socials, Twitters, YouTubes, everything. The forward to the next in issue 67 Dumb and Number Warfare. Take care, guys. Yeah.